Hi, I'm Keith. Today I'm going to show you how to change engine air filters on a CAT excavator. This machine's a CAT 314. Air filters are behind the cab here in this door. Every manufacturer is a little bit different, but they all have at least one air filter for the engine. This one is in this canister. There's three little clips that you unbuckle to pop the cap off. Some machines will have a wing nut in the middle. You undo the wing nut, pop the cap off. As you can see, it's a little bit dusty, a little bit dirty. This one does not have a wing nut and it's a foam filter. It just slides out. You have to wiggle it and twist it just a little bit. Off it comes. This is called your primary air filter. It's on the outside. You also have an inner air filter called your secondary air filter or safety filter. Machines like this, a little bit of dust and dirt gets in here, settles off the air filter, makes it a little bit dirty. I always leave the dirty inner air filter or secondary air filter in just to make sure no air, no dirty air can get past it while I wipe the canister out. As you can see, quite a bit of dirt and dust is coming out. Once that's clean and no more dust can settle down, you can pull out the inner air filter. This one is inside of another canister. Some machines don't have this inner canister that, it, that sits in it. This is your inner air filter. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. Sometimes there's a little bit of an oil film on there, so it'll look like a wet dirt. In this case, there's no oil film. It just looks dusty. Then we grab the new air filter. Now this one, as you can see, the end is a little bit different. The most important part is this end. This end seals on this outer area here. It needs to seal 100%. If any air can get past this point, not go through the air filter, you'll have contaminated air getting into the engine causing damage. You'll feel a little bit of pressure when you go to put it in. See how it, right there, I can push it in. I know there's a good seal when I have to push it in. If it just goes in there and floats and it moves around, you know that it's not a good seal. Now we put in the primary air filter. Again, I like to look at, is it the same? Is it the same length? Is the end where it seals onto the engine the same? As you can see, this new one has a little bit of dust and dirt right here. We're gonna wipe that off to make sure nothing, no contaminants get into the engine. Again, same as the uh, secondary air filter. We're gonna push it on, and then you can feel it start to get a little bit of friction. Now I know that it's at 100% because I had to use a little bit of force to push it on. This is the cap. Again, I like to give this a little bit of a wipe out. As you can see, there's a little bit of dust and dirt in here. The cleaner you make it, the longer the air filter will last because this dirt will just get right away sucked up right into the air filter as soon as we start the engine. After you've done that, we reinstall the cap. In this case, again, there's three little clips. Almost all air filter housings have this. What this is called is a one-way one -way check valve. It seals along the bottom, but it allows to come, air to come out. As you squeeze it, you see that? Now it's closed, it's a one-way valve. What that's for is as your air filter gets dirty, a little bit of dust falls off, it'll fall into here, and this allows the dirt to fall out as you're running it and not completely jam up in the canister. Quite often I'll pull this out. I'll give it a bang, make sure it's not plugged up. Sometimes you'll find some tree needles or leaves in there. Make sure that it's not plugged up and it's working correctly. And that is how you change an engine air filter on an excavator. To figure out which air filters you need for your excavator or any machine for that matter, a couple ways. You can go to the manufacturer and order the correct filters for that model of machine. Or what you can do is look on the end of the filter. On the end of the filter is going to be your numbers. This particular filter is a factory Caterpillar filter and there's your part number. Aftermarket filters can still be a good filter. A lot of companies can cross-reference this part number for the correct part number, and that's why I always check to make sure that the seal is the same, the length is the same, and the diameter is the same if it's an aftermarket filter.